And Alana Slater, four finals, three medals from them, and that is Sarah Lauren's mum. Travelled all the way from Western Australia, and her daughter made it well worthwhile. Change to the results. The Australians unsuccessful with that appeal. They won't be uh, losing too much sleep over it. They've still got Sarah Lauren up for the gold. Alana Slater missing out. Let's not worry too much about the protest. Let's focus on these three women who will take their place on the medal dais in just a moment. Sarah Lauren, Becky Owen and Kylie Stone. Australia, England, Canada. The three countries which have dominated the four days of artistic gymnastics here in Manchester. Sarah Lauren trains in Western Australia with uh, Alana Slater. Will be thrilled a bit to accept this goal, to have uh, outperformed Alana Slater. The bronze medalist with a score of 9.212, representing Canada, Kylie Stone. Kylie Stone adds a bronze to the four Canada already have at the gymnastics. Kicks their medal tally along to 11, I believe. a mighty performance I would suggest to you she's never done a floor routine as well as she did it today many of these gymnasts train four hours a day six days a week even more close to major competition. The silver medalist from England, Rebecca Owen. The gold medalist and Commonwealth Games floor champion with a score of 9.412, representing Australia, it's Sarah. There's a one very happy mum. And one very happy gymnast. Part of the gold medal winning Australian team and now one in her own right. Ladies and gentlemen, 
and please stand for the victory anthem of the gold medalist country, Australia. And that uh, concludes the women's gymnastics for the Commonwealth Games. Still one men's event to come. And I know you're going to enjoy it. It's the high bar.